President of the Commission, Mrs. Redding, the floor is yours. Thank you, President. I agree with all these men and women who have stand up in this House in order to speak up against violence, against the negation of human rights of women and against the crime, a most commonly committed crime, against 50% of our population. Now, and because I agree with all of you, I also agree with all those who are outside of this House. And that's why on the 14th of February, I will be proud to be one of the billion people around the world who will race on V-Day with a global movement to end violence against women in order to say clearly, no, we don't accept it anymore. And no, we would like our legal systems to function. And yes, we would like our practitioners to get special training. And yes, we would like in all our member states to have an application of the legislation to help the victims of this commonly perpetuated crime against women. And yes, I would like to tell them we are not only there to protest or to use words against crime. No, we are there to act. We are there to act, for instance, when our member states do not ratify the Council of Europe's Convention. And this is the first international instrument which is legally binding. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 17 member states have signed it. Only one, only one has ratified it, Portugal. So I ask all of those here who are not Portuguese to go out to their government, to go out to their national parliament, to go out to their media and protest in their member states. Why on earth have our member states not ratified the first international legally binding instrument against violence against women. Why on earth? What are they afraid of? Do our legal systems in our member states work or don't they work? Because if they work, then nobody, no member state has to be afraid about ratifying the Convention of the Council of Europe. Yes, we need action. We need action, for instance, that all the good work which has been going on since a long time in the Daphne program, whatever you call it, can continue. Are we going to stand up if someone to cut the money of the actions inside the Daphne program? I myself have left the money which is available as it is, and I have added to this the money from justice, because yes, we need action on training our justice practitioners so that when they are confronted, and they will be even if we speak up and even if we make one more resolution, there will be the violence. So we need the justice practitioners to know how to treat this violence. And we need that those who perpetrate this violence understand that they cannot run unpunished and that we know that the victims know that they will have a helping hand. So yes, we do need action. And I would like to tell all those also who say we do not only need action inside the European Union, we need also action outside the European Union. Yes. And that is why my colleagues Ashton, Georgieva and Peebalks, who are responsible for allowing the money to go out and to help the projects which help the women, that they have united their force in order to speak up. Lady Ashton is doing it regularly in her bilateral meetings, and the others who are helping the victims 
Madam Yogeva and Mr. Peebalks, or those who are building up Mr. Peebalks' society in the third countries where women can have their rights. Yes, that is action, ladies and gentlemen. And then you asked me supplementary action. You asked me a strategy, and you asked me a directive on violence with minimum standards. Well, I would like to tell you, did you listen to what Madame Petikainen has just said? She underlined that unfortunately it's not possible to have a directive on violence with minimum standard because this area does not fall um, into the EU competencies. Look at Article uh, 83 of the treaty and see what is possible to be done under this article. And then look what you have on your table, what has been done so far, and you will see that we have the biggest strategy which we ever had, a strategy of action, a strategy taking action in favour of victims, important laws which have agreed and which have been published already in the official journal, because you have done your work here. You have helped us to get these directives agreed. Well, we have to f bring the member states to the fact that they implement them. And that is our common strategy, to ensure that our actions make a difference and to maximize the impact. We will keep focusing on concrete action in areas where we do have a clear legal basis and that will be the tangible results. Because, you see, those women who are victims, we do not help them if we have another beautiful sentence and another beautiful sentence. They need clear action in our member states and the actions we have prepared them. The protection of victims of gender-based violence, which is included in the directive on the victims, and which has been quoted in different terms by many around this house, saying that we need to do here, we need to do there. Well, all the possible action is included in this directive. So what needs to be done also for helping the, the specific cases which have been brought to our attention, and all these specific cases are a crime, are a scandal that they happen. But then we need to reach out to the victims in order to help them, because helping the victims and showing no, we do not leave anybody alone who has been victim of crime. No, there is no woman who is left aside. Well, I think that will be the answer of this parliament. And there we can work together, not only in this house here, but also outside. And I think it is one of the very important things which each of you, in his or her member state, can also bring out in front of his or her media in order to say that, yes, there is a scandal. And the main scandal is that the laws, which we have all been deciding together, are improperly implemented. And that the legal professions are not properly trained in order to implement the laws in such a way that there should be no more women who would say, yes, I was ill-treated. Yes, I was raped. Yes, I was punished, although I hadn't done anything and nobody helped me. No, we have the laws in order to help them. So help me implement the laws in the member state. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a request for the discussion of the discussion of this discussion. Η ζήτηση έληξε. Η ψηφοφορία θα διεξαχθεί την Τετάρτη στις 11.30 το πρωί.